So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Today I'm going to be doing a video purely on the 14 Pro Max of the Apple Watch Ultra. Now this video is being recorded with the audio mics that come out of the 14 Pro Max. So I'm not using my traditional setup here. And let me know what you think of the quality because not only is it easier to shoot with an iPhone than it is my Pro Gear, but if you really enjoy it, I'll consider doing more videos that are not in studio because it's a lot easier to just walk around with the iPhone and make vids. So let me know what you think of that. But I just want to talk about this Apple Watch Ultra that I picked up a few months ago and my experience with it. It's been pretty darn good here. Um, the price of this watch, though, was very high, around $880 with taxes for me. You can see I did get the 49 millimeter, which is the only option, obviously. And they, this is one of the things I'm going to talk about is I wish they had more color options, but again, it's a new product, so definitely having only one is not the end of the world. But do I think it was worth it over my three months when it comes to the price point? And not really for the Apple Watch aspect of it, like the experience of using it is pretty similar to a much cheaper Apple Watch SE or a Watch Series 7 or 6, something like that in terms of the actual usability of the software. But because the battery life is so much better, the screen is brighter, it's easier to navigate and touch stuff because that screen is bigger, and it just feels like a new product in the Apple Watch world, definitely makes it feel worth it in that aspect. So I'm kind of 50-50 on it. The Apple Watch experience itself, not really worth that extra cash, but this the hardware that they're providing, giving you a different experience, kind of justifies it. But I think eventually Apple's going to have some, you know, redesigns on those cheaper watches as well. And then this won't feel like it's the only new thing on the block anymore. But for right now, kind of is. You can see I am using an Ocean Band here. I picked up this third-party red band on this Apple Watch Ultra. But definitely, I want to talk about a few other areas. So I want to talk about how does it feel on the wrist. Personally, it doesn't feel that big, honestly, if you have a pretty decent-sized wrist. Now, if you got a really skinny wrist, it's going to look like a monster. And at first, when you first put it on, it feels more like a smartphone on the wrist compared to some of the older Apple Watches that kind of feel a little bit more sleek and compact. This thing is a little bit more bulky. And a lot of people say they don't really notice. You don't notice because you're not wearing the other Apple Watch. When you put the other Apple Watch on, you definitely notice how much bigger and bulkier this thing feels. Um, but since I've gotten used to it, I don't think about it. So it's kind of an adjustment period in your brain. Just like when you get a newer, bigger smartphone, if you're not comparing it to your older phone, you kind of just adjust to it. But then when you, once you grab an iPhone 13 mini or something, you're like, whoa, the phone I've been using is massive. You don't really notice that though once you get used to it. So size-wise, is it a problem? If you have really skinny wrist or you don't like big things on your wrist, yes, it's a problem. They could make a smaller Apple Watch Ultra for those out there who don't want the you know bigger size, that would be a nice option. For people who just want maybe like a 44 millimeter or something like that, just a little bit smarter. I'm pretty sure they could still do this case design. You know, maybe not as much battery life, but they could probably do this design on a smaller you know size as well. But for me, I personally love the size because I use it a lot. So why not enjoy that size? Now its overall durability has also been pretty excellent. I've knocked this thing around. I've hit it on things multiple times. And even the scroll wheel right here feels pretty good. This right here, these buttons, they, they're kind of separated very nicely, so you don't really accidentally press stuff. That's awesome. And then you have the action button over here. I am not a fan of this orange color, though. I just think it's kind of like silly that Apple would put um, only an orange button on here, so like you have no choice of color. That's just kind of weird, I think, because most of their phones, tablets give you choice of color. So I don't like that you're stuck just having to have this orange button, but it it kind of makes sense for the rugged look and stuff like that. And the titanium case color as well. Again, it's a really nice color for a lot of people. It's kind of neutral. It's not over the top, but it's not really, you know, giving you options. It's not giving you a choice. Maybe somebody wants this watch in a black colorway or, you know, something like a silver colorway or something like that. You know, I, I just feel like if they could, I know titanium is a specific color, but if they could kind of like paint it a different color, give people some other color options for this watch would be pretty cool. I also think it would be awesome if they had like a ruggedized plastic version of this for like a few hundred dollars cheaper, like for maybe $4.99 or something like that, maybe $5.99, giving you like a G-Shock plastic kind of like resin type material. But on here, this thing is super durable. I've dropped it. I've actually dropped it in the tub. I've actually hit it against walls, hit it against my desk, all kinds of stuff. 
and look at it. It's still fine. I did throw a little cheapy TPU screen protector on there just because I don't like getting scratches on stuff. I know it's very scratch resistant and stuff like that, and it probably wouldn't scratch anyway. But just because when I peel off the screen at the end of the day and I sell this thing, I want it to look like brand new. That's why I put it on there. Three months later with the display panel itself, it's been ridiculously good. It's so bright and it's super usable. And this size range for an Apple Watch definitely boosts the experience because having a lot more screen space than some of the smaller Apple Watches out there makes this something you actually want to interact with and use more. So it's definitely something I would consider, you know, recommending if you're into having a, just a more easy to navigate, more easy to press icons and stuff like that on your screen. One of the biggest example of this is when you are using the keyboard and you want to go ahead and type something. It's just easier to type out messages and stuff like that. In addition, I find that up here in Control Center, it's also a lot easier to kind of just click these buttons up here, looking at your, you know, notifications, stuff like this. It's just a lot more space to tap this stuff and not make a mistake. So overall, you can still use the crown, obviously, to go through here. But I, I would say that I just really like the screen size. It's also very bright outdoors impossible to not see this ever like you're going to see this in any type of lighting anywhere this apple watch is set up like that it's got a really high 2000 nit brightness and it really shows now the software is not going to be very different from any other apple watch you will be able to get yourself software updates just like any of the other apple watches and honestly i don't even think about the software that much you know i'm used to how apple watch works and i just use the features that i enjoy like the sleep tracking like the heart rate monitoring, like, you know, the breathing, the, you know, weather application, messaging people, you know, throwing some third party apps on there, stuff like that. And let me know if you guys want to see what's on my Apple Watch. Maybe I'll consider going more into the applications that I use. But honestly, I don't really think about it much. Yeah, you have the siren, but I'm not trying to use that. You know, hopefully that I never have to use that. That's for an emergency and stuff like that. And this does have all those emergency features and crash detection. But Honestly, the software is going to be essentially the same thing that you get on basically any other Apple Watch. So software updates come in regularly and, you know, it just operates exactly the same. So if you're at home on something else, you'll be at home here on the Apple Watch Ultra, especially if you've had another Apple Watch. Performance is something that has been good for a very long time on the Apple Watch experience. So this is not something that I'm going to harp on about, talk about too much. You know, they've they've pretty much figured that out a few generations ago. So having the fastest current Apple Watch chip in here doesn't really mean much. I just expect it to perform well. And it's a watch and it performs incredibly well. This is the best performing smartwatch I find out there. I think Amazfit does pretty good with the speed as well. But those are more like fitness trackers. And I do think Garmin does okay. Samsung is a little bit laggy, I think, in the watch game. They need to get a little bit better performance, and this thing keeps locking itself. But honestly, you know, it's just buttery smooth. This is like the iPhone on your wrist. It really is. And there's a reason why this Apple Watch, you know, product line is very popular. You know, not just the Ultra, but a lot of them. It's because it just performs super smooth, and it matches up well with your iPhone. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the, you know, speaker phone calls and stuff like that. They've been pretty loud, but... I would expect them to be a little bit louder. They're not super loud. They they kind of sound just like a Apple Watch Series 7 in my experience. So not a major jump here. And this is the area I'm going to go on and on about. The battery life. Because the battery life is the main reason I bought this Apple Watch twice. I bought initially. I was overwhelmed by the size at first. I didn't like the size. I like the sleeker, older Apple Watch classic kind of feel on the wrist. It was much nicer. Then I was like missing the battery life experience. I charge this thing once every like three or four days. Look at it, it's already Tuesday. And look at I haven't charged this thing since Sunday at 1043 AM. And I'm using this watch daily, multiple features daily, tracking maybe one fitness exercise per day or something like that. And I don't really have to trigger the low power mode on this watch because you know the battery just keeps lasting and lasting. So Honestly, if you want the best battery life Apple Watch ever, you have to get the Ultra. This thing is amazing when it comes to other battery lives on the other Apple Watches. Now, it gets smoked by things like Garmin as well as, you know, some Amazfit watches, but those are not as fully featured as a smartwatch. This is a true smartwatch, a true iPhone type experience on the wrist. 
But if someday Apple can get one week battery life, I don't know if I ever see them getting that. But if they do, it's going to be game over because right now we're already seeing the potential. So I would even honestly go up to maybe like a 51 millimeter size if we were going to get five or six days of battery life, you know, because three days is already nice, though. I This is the first time using an Apple Watch where I literally can go to sleep a couple nights. I don't even think about it. Like it has to alert me your battery life is low. Whereas with other Apple Watches, I'm constantly checking because I know those things drain quite quick. All right, so would I buy the Apple Watch Ultra again? And the answer is yes, for the battery life. That's literally the only reason I would buy this again. The case design is really nice. It's premium, but it's bulky, I would say. And overall, I wouldn't buy it for just the Apple Watch experience. If you don't care about charging your watch every night, I would save the money, honestly. Um, because all of the other Apple Watches, like the Series 8 SE, they still have great fitness tracking features. And this is just going to be really for those hardcore watch users, those fitness heads that are using it every single day. And they're going to be tracking a lot of stuff for those travelers who are on the road a lot. They're moving a lot and they just don't got time to be at a charger every single day, you know, which most people are anyway. But if they're just too busy for all that and they just need a few days out of their watch, this is going to be the better option here and another reason is like when you have great battery life and you're getting you're tracking your sleep by the way it was inaccurate i actually got like seven hours or so yesterday this thing kind of missed it so i think maybe it was falling around on my wrist or something but if you're tracking sleep a lot of times with the other apple watches i had to go ahead and charge it before the sleep because it would just drain too much overnight this one you could track your sleep go out through, throughout the whole next couple days and still be rocking out so that's how good the battery life really is on this particular model. But yeah, honestly, I just think that it would be nice if Apple could launch a maybe a smaller version for people who want a smaller size with still pretty good battery life. Like this one gets three days. I'm sure they could launch a little bit smaller version, maybe like a 44, 45 millimeter and get like two days instead of like the one to 18 hours on the you know original Apple Watches. So let me know your thoughts on the Apple Watch Ultra. Are you picking one up? And I think these are gonna be awesome pickups, especially if you find them on deals and when they become used options in the future, they're gonna be some nice options here to get you a premium Apple Watch experience. I didn't go too much into the action button. I don't use it much at all because I just click it here, but that's also nice. You can program that button to do a few different things. It's really up to you. If you enjoyed this video, do you wanna see more on the Apple Watch line of products let me know down below thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't already nick here be sure to be well and peace